Okay, YouTube, welcome back to, <clears throat> excuse me, War Thunder with the Flying Fent. This is episode number 11, and uh, we're trying to get our daily experience on the Japanese, the Times 2 daily experience with Japanese aircraft. Well, I guess vehicles, but since I'm not playing tanks, it would be aircraft. I've got to say, I really like the kind of the background stuff, the, you know, the, the what World of Tanks will call the garage. It's really nice, the way it's very cinematic and... Gives you nice close-up views and then pans to further out and gives you different angles. It's very, I very like the art, the art style of this game. It really is nice. All right, uh, sure. Let's start with the one C. In first Sentai camouflage. A little bit of rolling. They're not really barrel rolls. A barrel roll, you've actually got to go like in the shape of a barrel. That was just a plain old fashioned roll. Closer than I probably should have gotten. Jump for trees there. Hit, destroy. Hit, she wasn't able to destroy it, that's fine, we'll come around. Get some targets moving across the open field. There we go. Back around this way, there's more open field over here. There we go. Oh, enemy on our tail. There we go. He's now headed the wrong way. Some more artillery here. Ooh, a little bit of a hill there. That. It's okay, there's more targets over here. We are taking fire from the ground, I believe. Well, that's not from the ground. That's from this guy. Trying to go vertical. Oh, we lost our wing. Serbian Nazi swag. That's a rather bold name. Okay, let's continue on. How's the fight going? Ooh, it's tight. It's tight like a tiger. somebody on him, so I'll just carry on with attacking ground targets. No, there's one out. Come over here. I think that's actually down on the other side of the hill. Oh no, there it is. Let's get this artillery first. There we go. A 
flipping around. Wow, look at this guy. He's got like three guys on him. Tricks shall not help you. Game over. Only got one target left. Actually, I've only got seven, though. I'm not winning by much. But it's enough that I don't think we can pull it out. I mean, all we gotta do is find our one target. We have to find seven of theirs. I mean, here's two of them. There's more. And five. There's one there. Where are they? Show me targets. Round of four now. Oh, I'm too close to this guy. Two. God, bring that nose around. We're gonna die. But I took it out. <laughs> They're down to one. They have one target left. Ah, oh, we won! <laughs> How did we turn that around? Holy smokes. Oh. That was amazing. Especially the way I kamikaze that guy. That made my day. It really did make my day. Uh, I'm going to hop back over to uh, Britain here. To battle. Let's do it. Oof. Why is the shop blinking? It's not blinking, shop. I'm not buying anything. What's the triangle? Oh, premium account. Very good. Or diamond. Triangle. Pfft. I know shapes. Ground strike in Spain. Very good. Is this during the Spanish Civil War? I like that there's mountains there. That's kind of cool. I wonder if, if the two armies are allowed to close on each other, do they uh, start shooting each other? Do the two ground opposing ground units engage in battle amongst themselves? That would be really cool if they did. I think it'd be really cool if they did. Maybe other people would disagree. Oh, and it's dark. Well, not dark, but cloudy. You know what I meant. I see a huge glob over here. I'm headed for the huge glob. Uh, 
destroy all bomb targets and destroy the enemy aircraft. So do these not matter then? This looks like something that would need to be done by an actual bomber. Oh, Snapple. this is doing anything. I feel like you need actual bombs to do it. But hey, what do I know? The answer is absolutely nothing. I never played this mode before. Where are all these blinking targets? from behind. Ah, I see nobody back there. Fine. Oh, it's maybe him going around. Can we follow the red smoke for the guy? No, I think that's my own smoke. Maybe not, though. Once again, what do I know? I know that there's a convoy headed into this town. And that I am not going to let them get there. There's one vehicle from that convoy removed. There's another one. Oh crap, I am like weaving through buildings. That is scary. Is this aircraft behind me? It is. And it is a red guy. Too low for comfort. Additional ground targets? Yes, there are. Here's one right here. Done. Here's one here. Done. We need to get out. Go right over, right over. Man, that guy had a lot of machine guns. I am unable to maintain altitude. Or speed. We need to... No, we can't. I was going to say we need to pitch the nose up, but I can't. I have learned, though, when the targets are on the ground like that, it looks like they're still alive, someone's already gotten credit for the kill. So don't waste time shooting at them. I did that once, if you recall, I was shooting at the target, and it's like, there's no reason to. Sorry, I'm sucking on another uh, throw crop. I crunch into them before I think there's a microphone in front of me. So I do apologize if that was really loud. I have no idea how loud that was. It sounded loud to me, but it is attached to my face, so... You know, kind of be expected. 
The enemy's down to nine ground targets. I don't know if we win if they're all gone or if we still have to destroy those bombing things or how that works. I have no idea. The rounds are falling short. You can see from the tracers there. Alright, let's go. Let's get in there. Still falling short. Now we are getting close enough that we should be able to hit. Let's come back around. We'll reduce the power a little. There's one down. I need to get climbing. Oh, tree. Woof. I really should pay a little bit more attention to what I'm doing. I'm gonna head this way a little bit just to kind of give me some some space to work with. There we go. And dodge the trees and climb out. There we go. Excellent. All right, no more enemy ground targets on this portion of the map. Can I access tactical map here? I can. Uh, I am. Com they are all on the exact other side of the map. It looks like there's only five of them left. Target, the bombing target must be just like on the other side of this. No? What is it? Is there a thing on the hill? What? Oh, there's a little factory or something in here. I don't think that does anything. If I'm being completely honest. We're still down to five ground targets. Holy smokes, come on guys. UNSC. Isn't that a university, UNSC? I think there's a target right here, almost like on the top of the hill. And judging by the uh, judging by the uh, sky up here, yeah. Actually, judging by the tracers that are coming out, it's artillery. So there we go. There we go. There's that one done. They're down to five. Well, they're still at five. Oh, it may not be these ground targets that we need to shoot. They're still at five. Dang it, we're gonna lose, I think. Well, we may not have any bombers, that may be part of the problem. Was he? he was right in here. I saw him. Oh, there he is. I saw him when it was too late to do anything about it. Anti-aircraft removed. Yeah, I don't know what you're supposed to do about these bombing targets. I gotta assume you need bombs. Four, three, two, one, here we go. Load into that AA site, there's another one there. There's a few more targets over here. Oh, we have to hit, I think we have to hit the vehicles, not these defensive positions. 
I don't know where their vehicles are though. But well, maybe not. I might be just completely misreading everything. That guy totally crashed trying to shoot something. I hope you crashed into it and killed it, bud. That's what I hope you did. Destroyed. I don't think I destroyed it, but I did hit it. Hmm. Well, we're down to three. Somebody's killing the right type of targets. Two. Oh, we lost by two. Yeah, I don't know if you caught it there. It just flashed up and said to destroy targets, you have to use bombs or rockets. Of which I had none. Oh, what's this thing? Challenge, veteran one. Oh, whatever. I don't know what that means. Research this thing. No, I'm going to stick with the British for now. Let's do another one. Or do we want to do, you know what, let's, let's do America. We'll just kind of flop back and forth between them. They're the two that I like the best, I think. It would be nice to get that Catalina unlocked. Such a sweet, sweet plane. Okay. Alright. This is the... Foggy Albion one. Hmm. Yeah, it says on the top corner. To battle. And our pea shooter. And we're in. Okay. See, now this time our icon looks like little emplacements, but their icon looks like little tanks. I don't know if that means I have to kill the tanks and their emplacements don't count. Well, I should get credit for a landing, as far as I'm concerned. But I think it only counts them if you're on wheels. I will say, I don't know if the U.S. Army Air Corps really thought it through when they used bright yellow and bright blue for the paint scheme. World War One, I get doing that. Because uh, at the beginning of the war... You know, pilots didn't shoot each other. There was, they were gentlemen. They would do no such thing. It was dangerous enough to fly. But, um, I mean, World War II broke out. They should have been well aware that uh, planes were going to kill each other. Oh, that guy's dead. So are we, if we continue on that course... We are losing. Come on. Come on, gun. Get around there. Come on, the guy's on a PlayStation. You can't beat him. Come on, bring the nose around. You can do it, little plane. I have faith in you. 
And turn around. There we go. Back on him. Oh, we lost one of our guns out of ammo. Next one will be out soon, but we're reloaded on the first one that ran out. Hit. Come on. There we go. A couple more good shots like that will do it. That's one way to kill him. I'm not sure it's the way that I would recommend doing it, but it was effective. Can't argue about that. landing gear. <laughs> Crashed him and lost my landing gear. Well, that was an unfortunate loss. Oof, and I did not have a very good individual performance either. Mission failed. What's this? Teamwork. Uh, okay. I don't know how, but sure, thanks. All right, I'm going to, uh, I think, switch back to the British for the next battle, and I'll do that in the next episode. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.